What is nothing? Does nothingness exist? What was there before the beginning of time? In this short video, you'll learn the fascinating story of a number that wasn't always a number. Zero, or in other words, the absence of a value. In mathematics, zero has two fundamental purposes. One, a placeholder within our positional number system, and two, a number in its own right. As a placeholder, zero enables us to create huge numbers without the need to create new digits. Hence, why 50 is bigger than 5 and 500 is smaller than 5,000. As a number in its own right, zero represents a null quantity and the mediator between the negative and the positive. When zero is added to any number, the number remains unchanged. Multiplying any number by zero results in zero, and logically, division by zero is undefined in arithmetic. It is an expression which is not assigned an interpretation or a value. It only makes sense, as if you try to divide one piece of cake by zero plates, you end up not dividing the cake at all. Motivated by the very practical need to count things, such as days or cattle heads, ancient civilizations developed rudimentary number systems. Most often just one or two symbols in different arrangements to create a unique character representing a number. Some of them attempted to represent the absence of a value. However, these were mainly rough concepts of zero as a placeholder and not zero in its full splendor. The first evidence we have of some form of zero is from the Sumerian culture in Mesopotamia, some 5,000 years ago. Scribes utilized spaces to indicate the absence of numbers in columns. The symbol changed over time as positional notation, making its way to the Babylonian Empire. The Babylonians displayed zero with two angled wedges. A slanted double wedge was inserted between cuneiform symbols for numbers, written positionally to indicate the absence of a number. A symbol emerged independently in the Americas around 350 AD, when the Mayans started using a zero marker in their calendars. It was later found in ancient India in the mid-5th century. The Hindus placed dots beneath numbers to indicate a zero placeholder and recognized it as having a null value, referred to as Sunya. It was in 7th century India that zero truly became a hero, as this was the first moment when it was defined comprehensively. Brahmagupta, an Indian astronomer, gave mathematical properties to zero and developed its terms for addition, subtraction and division. However, as it would happen with academics for centuries to come, he faced serious difficulties with division. It spread to Cambodia near the end of the 7th century, as well as into China, where it took the open circle form we now use. It reached Islamic countries at the end of the 8th century, where it was crucial for trade. Arab merchants brought the zero they found in India to the west, where it found severe resistance by the Greek, who initially opposed the Hindu Arabic system, as well as the Romans, who had their own established numeral system, which showed no traces of zero. After many adventures and much opposition, zero was accepted and the concept flourished, as it took on much more than a positional meaning. It was not until the 1100s that zero became prominent in Europe, with mathematicians the likes of Fibonacci helping zero gain a foothold as mainstream. As mathematics evolved from more practical applications to more abstracted functions, zero became the cornerstone of calculus and algebra and had a pivotal role to play in areas such as physics or astronomy. The mathematical zero and the philosophical notion of nothingness are related, and our understanding of zero is tied up with classical questions concerning the status of non-being. Finding consideration in the work of Parmenides, Plato and Aristotle, and through the continental tradition, right up to contemporary philosophical debates around the concept of nothing, everything, beginning and end. Today, Zero is instrumental to most applications of mathematics and to science as a whole, laying the foundation for the binary numbering system, which is the underlying structure for modern computer programming. Recently, within the realm of quantum physics, the hypothesis has been put forward that the total energy of the universe could be zero, and that empty spaces could in fact be a boiling brew of virtual particles that pop in and out of existence. Sparking a wide debate in modern science around the difference between vacuum and nothing, the very origin of matter and particles, as well as time and space themselves.